Good afternoon from the parking lot of Epcot. We are headed in today because Food and Wine Festival. So we made this reservation um, after we made the reservation last week and we thought we're going to probably want more food in a week. Yeah. And we do. Yeah. <laughs> Plus we're going to go the other way this time. Like, yeah counterclockwise so in our last video we ended up having to leave because jackson really needed to have his nap and he doesn't really take his naps very well in his stroller so we ended up just going home and we said we're gonna do the other side because we missed half of the world showcase we missed three quarters of the world showcase <laughs> yeah we missed a lot of it yeah so we're doing that today all right we are inside of epcot now gonna make the first stop that everybody makes the bathroom the bathroom so i wanted to tell you so they had to do a secondary reading of my temperature they couldn't get my temperature the first time and they had to take a reading behind my ear. Yeah, it wasn't like they set you, because there is like a cool down tent for people that have too high of a temperature. Mm -hmm. Yours wasn't like that. Yours was like, she checked it on her forehead and it gave her an error or something. Yeah. She's like, let me just check it behind your ear. But that was just something that's never happened to me before. So I wanted to tell you guys. Yeah. So you might have to have it taken behind your ear if they can't get it on your forehead. Side note, this place looks like a ghost town. I know, I'm actually like super excited that it's less busy today than it was last time. We'll see. Once we get out to World <laughs> Showcase, it might still be busy, but yeah. right now, and, and nobody here. All right, so we made classic mistake. We came super hungry, and so we need to get something like right now. So the first booth that we're going to come across is the Hawaii booth. So we're just going to grab the things that we know we love there um, and then get our game plan together for the rest of the day. So we won't really talk about that food, but um, we will enjoy it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I found that there are some booths that only open on the weekends, and there's some that are just not open yet. Like this one. I have no idea what this booth is gonna be or when it's gonna open. Now that we've made it into World Showcase, it is a little bit busier out here. Oh yeah, it's very deceiving from the front. So we had our food from Hawaii. We didn't show it to you, but I will link the video down below where we ate it last week and it was just as delicious. It was very good. Maybe even better. Uh -huh. um, so now we are trying to get our game plan. We were thinking maybe we'd get the filet from Canada, but it's very hot. Very hot today. So maybe we'll skip that. We might rethink it. We might come back to it maybe yeah but i do know that we should go inside of world show place and get some stuff from in there like soak up some air conditioning for like five minutes while we pick it up then we'll come back outside and we'll eat what we get well because so the last time we were here we met one of you and you said to try the lobster mac and cheese and i love mac and cheese and i love lobster so i want to try that okay and just as like a warning i got the buffalo mac and cheese last time and it wasn't good but I feel like you said it was good, but it wasn't that good. Okay, yeah, that's fair. But then they also have the cake pops, so... Yeah, I want to get those cake pops for sure. There's I, there's a few things that are that are drawing me in. Yeah, here we go, World Show Place. It looks like they're getting ready for a long line. Right? But there's not anybody in line right now. And maybe that was over the weekend. Maybe, maybe yeah, that's a good point. So here's the lobster mac and cheese. Looks pretty okay, actually, if you like lobster. I think it looks delicious. Kind of I'm excited for the sauce. Like three or four big chunks of lobster yeah. in there. Jackson's excited. And then here are cake pops. They kind of melted pretty quick as soon as we came outside. So just be warned of that. If you are getting them and plan on eating them outside like us, they do melt pretty darn fast so what we did and this is maybe like a little tip a little tip or trick is we're sitting right outside oh yeah we're just like right outside of the doors yeah I but know. they still melted really quick yeah. so <laughs> so i'm gonna try this really quick got a little bit of lobster a little bit of the noodles pasta is it good it's really good oh that's good so the macaroni and cheese by itself is delicious this is a borson macaroni and cheese yeah it's so creamy and just like I just, I love the creaminess of it. I want to taste whatever the sauce is. Okay. It almost tastes like when you get a lobster bisque. Like okay. they poured a little bit of lobster bisque, like a creamy version of lobster bisque on top of it. it just really adds to the flavor. Um, definitely like a very, like a fishy, not fishy in a bad way, but it's very obviously seafood. Um, of course it's lobster, but it's, uh, I feel like you get kind of a, a good amount of lobster too which is great. I don't know, I recommend it. If you like lobster and you like mac and cheese, I would try this. All right, give it a try. Oh yeah? He's like, I really wanna try that, uh, that cake chocolate. pop. So I got the Twix one, 
and it's just got some crushed up Twix with like chocolate and caramel and like the little cookie pieces. It looks delicious. Um, I bet it's gonna be messy because it's very melted already. Oh yeah, it's all over your face already. You're like this a two year old. This is so good. Oh my God. Isn't it? <laughs> wow. Oh no, you dropped your shoe, bud. How did your shoe even come off? What the heck? Um, wow, this is so good. The cake, so the, it's it's almost like a brownie, but it's not as dense. So I guess it is, it's like a, like a, a chocolate cake. Yeah. It's very like nice and kind of spongy and the chocolate is still very cool on the outside even though it is melted. It is so nice and the, the crunch of the topping is like a nice texture addition. I love this. Wow. Yeah. Like as far as food and wine goes, fairly good deal too. They're only four dollars a piece. This is so good. I feel like I'm full already. Oh no, like, we've got so the... much more food to eat. I know. That's okay, I'm gonna take one for the team. I'm gonna eat more food. Don't you worry, I won't let you down. All right, we made it to three food booths and we already lost our shoes. Say we're sandalless. And that's just how it's gonna be for the rest of the day, I think. In today's edition of Jen Describes Food Much Better Than Tim. No, you did so good. I forget where we were. I think it was the last video from here. You did such a good job. Okay. What? <laughs> it was really good. <laughs> I always like M&M's on stuff. Like I like M&M's in McFlurries, milkshakes. I know McFlurries are milkshakes, <laughs> right? but I always go with M&M's as a topping. It's just like extra chocolate with a little bit of crunch. Definitely prepared to have it like all over your face though. Oh yeah, my face is still a mess. I love this. Oh, it's I wanna, so good. I want to order another one. Right? <laughs> This is definitely on our must do list. If you're coming to the food and wine festival, you must try a nitro cake pop. You must. Mm -hmm. One of these days I'll get it when it's not melted. But I mean, but it was really good even though it was a little melty, it really was. I know when you like something, when you eat it slow. Mm -hmm. Like you're trying to savor the flavor, I feel like. Okay. That's what I, I don't know. It's just something that I noticed. It's good. Yeah. It's really good. It's like, you know how when you have a chocolate cake and it's moist, um, and it like takes up your whole mouth and it's like hard to eat because it's yeah. so moist. This is just the right amount of moist. It's not dry, it's not wet, it's like perfect. It really is perfect. I highly, highly, highly recommend getting one of these. And I really, really recommend trying that lobster mac and cheese. It was a really good portion and um, I would I would 100% order that again. It was so good. I feel like it was very filling too. I wouldn't order the buffalo mac and cheese again. I still want to try that to see if I like it because I feel like sometimes you don't like things and I like them and sometimes I like things and you don't like them. I don't think you would like it. You don't think? Mm -mm. Well, then I'll just have to order another lobster mac and cheese, I guess. All right. <laughs> All right, we're going to head back into the back of the UK pavilion, see if there's any characters back here. seems like a lot of people are headed back here. You never know. We might see somebody. Who will we see? Maybe Mary Poppins? Oh. Or Alice? Jackson's never seen either of them, so that'll be cute. Yeah. There goes Alice. We just missed her. Enjoy your tea. Thank oh, you. Thank you. Bye. So it was a little bit of like a confusing situation here. We started to like get into a line and the guy came out and he said, there's no more selfies. And we're like, I don't understand what that means. What he was trying to say is that she was leaving. She was going backstage. She was done for the day or for the moment. And it, I, he didn't really communicate that well to us at least. So if they say, all right, we're not doing any more selfies, that means she's ready to, she's getting ready to go off stage. So that's a little tip for you. Also, because of the current world situation, they don't have any set times for the characters. So we I have know. no idea when another character is coming back out. My initial thought was like, oh, let's ask him when she'll be back. Cause I really wanted to get a picture of Jackson, like seeing her, but they won't tell you. Right. So on to the next place. You want to get something from France? Um, I'm gonna look at the menu at least. Okay, so we made it to the France booth and it is a very long line. I really did want to try that dessert because he had a dessert here last time that you really liked. Um, maybe it was the time before last time that you really, really liked and I wanted to try it, but I don't think today is a good day for that. Yeah. So, on to the next one. Okay, I feel like we get the same thing every time. Gotta get this cheese bread. Well, I haven't had it yet. So right. I, I had a, I'm a taste tester, I gotta try it. Okay, and I just have to try it because it's good. Quality control. Got our cheese breads. I got one for me and one for Jackson. We're gonna try some cheesy bread. So let's take a big bite. 
First of all, it looks like um, when they fill a donut. Is that mm. how they make these? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. That's just like cheese encased in like the bread crust. Yeah. Wow. So good, isn't it? The last time you ate this, a bunch of people said, oh my gosh, you can get that at the grocery store. And they gave us the brand name of the ones you can get in the frozen food aisle. I wonder if they're as good. Oh, we should we try it. We gotta try it. Yeah, we have to try it. Because these are good. You want to try a little piece, buddy? We've got you a middle piece. All right, you got your cheese bread. Delicious. It was really good. Now we're headed to Morocco, which I haven't gotten anything from Morocco yet this year. They have something that was good. I think it was the fries. Falafel fries? fries? Yeah, and they're spicy or no? They are spicy, yeah. Okay. Uh, I didn't like them last time. Oh, no. Or last year. So, totally up to you. If you want to get them, go for it. Let's look at the menu. Okay. Not falafel fries. Hummus fries. Yeah, spicy. Beef okay. kefta pocket. For $8? Yeah. Why? I don't know. Oh, the chocolate baklava was good, though. So? I take that back. There is one thing that's good at this, this menu, and it's chocolate baklava. Should we get it? What's what? What like? What else are we gonna pass? Japan. Is that it? And then we can go to America. Hmm. Here we're in the way. Over here at the Japan booth. Oh, that frothy ramen. Uh -huh. Oh, that frothy ramen. I remember that from years past or from last year. It was weird. Do you the... want to try the? I kind of want to try the flower pot. Yeah. Do you want to try the chicken bun? Sure. Why not? Okay, let's do it. Ooh, I don't know how much longer we'll be here because of that storm right there. Looks like it's gonna rain real soon. All right, so we stopped off at the Japan booth. I got the teriyaki chicken bun. It's fantastic. This is like, it's like a little portable thing. It's like carrying around like a little baseball, <laughs> right? Yeah. You wanna eat some of the baseball, buddy? He just got a little slobber on it for he you. He slobbered it for me. All right. Mmm, smells like sunscreen. Oh, is that what it was? I'm like, I smell something. What is that? This that is really good. It smells so good. This is really good. Let me try a bit. That is nice. That's very good. Mmm. Mmm, yeah. It's very it's sweet. Like, you have the sweetness of the bun, but then like the sweetness of the teriyaki as well. Mm -hmm. It's almost like, um, ground chicken though which is strange it is yeah i feel like how's the middle like the middle bun ratio to meat because the outside bun ratio is good it's a little bit thicker in the middle yeah so you can kind of see how it's a little bit so you can kind of see how it's a little bit thicker there in the middle but like oh it's still good jackson's been talking so much today mm -hmm. talking but like mm -hmm. he's, he's trying to say something what are you trying to say, buddy? I'm trying to say it's my like, hair is all messy. Where's Mickey? Saw him last time I was here. I know, we haven't seen a single character. That's how it is every time I come here. Oh no, I was your good luck charm. Not anymore. What happened? Yeah, I suggest you get this. This is really good. Mm -hmm. If you like sweet things, like it's, it is a sweeter, savory dish. It does have a lot of onions in it too. So if you're not a fan mm -hmm. of onion, good call, keep yeah. that in mind. I like onions. Very good though. All right, so now you've got the the sushi. Yeah. So it's the so so the way that they did it um, not last year but the year before or was it last year? I think it was the year before last year. It was the salmon was in the shape of a flower bud. Oh. So this is a little different. It's just little cubed pieces of salmon and salmon roe. Um, but it it looks good. I think you get less salmon this year. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. So. It's salmon, salmon roe, rice, a little a little piece of spinach for the faux like little flower leaf, and then poke sauce. It's kind of sweet. Hmm. I thought it would be spicy for some reason. And then it has the um, chirashi. I don't remember the name of the spice. There's a spice in there too. A little bit of wasabi. Ooh. It's actually pretty good. Yeah. It's just, it's sweeter than I thought it would be. It is nice and cool, so it is a chilled dish, which is good for the heat. Hey, right. for a utility stroller, heading out into the rain. Jen's wearing her Columbia Mickey Mouse ears. I feel like my ears have fallen. 
Well, they're like soft. Yeah, oh yeah. And also, this is Jackson's first time in his stroller in a real rainstorm with the rain cover on. He likes kicking it so far. I know the weather's not great, but it feels it feels wonderful. Oh yeah, it's much cooler now than it was. Yeah. Also, we are exactly one halfway around the World Showcase. And I think we're starting to head home now because of the rain. Oh no! This would have been the perfect time to go and get you the carrot cake. I know. From America. We'll have to come back. You know, we need to try this corn funnel cake too. Street corn funnel cake. It sounds good. Everybody said it was so delicious, so it's... Oh yeah, oh that, that does sound really good. It's like yeah. a savory funnel cake. Yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So there's a new fireworks show that will debut at some point called Harmonious. Currently there are no fireworks shows at all happening at Epcot. But do you guys see that crane? That's for building the harmonious floats. That's a big crane. I have a feeling it's gonna be a big show. And I have no idea what this uh, construction mall is doing here around Italy. Interesting, it's not even, is it around Italy or is it around like next to Italy? It's like the gardens near Italy. Yeah, it's kind of like next to Italy. Very strange. This is new to me. I haven't seen this construction mall before. Hmm. Oh, well, maybe this is where they're making the wine window. The what? You know how during plague times they had those wine windows? Oh yeah. Is that what they're doing? Probably not, but good guess. Sorry for the rain noises, but good news. What? This is the moving in of a cold front. Oh yeah, we're gonna have some cold weather soon. Well, relative cold. Yeah, cold my, my buddy's getting soaked right now because the wind is blowing out our back. Oh no. That's okay. Hey Jen, do you think we'll get to see some characters? Yeah. <laughs> also, a side note, stop for a second. This is all the buddy needed to fall asleep with a little bit of rain. I don't know if you can see him in there, but he is passed out asleep. Oh, so how are you doing with your mask? Because your mask is getting wet. Oh, I'm okay. Okay, that's good. Good old Florida. It's a good time, right? I mean, I don't mind it. But if you're on vacation and you're not used to it, this might not be very fun. Right? My food and wine hill that I'm going to die on is if you don't get anything other than one dish, get it from Flavors of Fire. If you only go to one booth, go to Flavors from Fire. Real quick question. This is this is Dante from... Oh no, it's Pepita. Pepita, but well, it's the same, oh, right? I know. I know. Spoiler alert. I never Sorry. saw that movie. You never saw it. So, Pepita from uh, Coco, right? I mean, it says it's Pepita on there. Yeah, it just doesn't look anything like that character. But I guess, like, Sully doesn't look like Sully either. Yes, he does. He looks like a little cute Sully. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. We came into, into Mouse Gear, and it's definitely not as bad this time. It's still a little bit crowded, which is interesting because it's raining, but not nearly as bad as the last time we were in here. Every time we come to Epcot, I'm always so amazed at the size of these podocarpus. They're so massive. Oh, we can, for a second, we can see inside of... Cosmic Rewind. Can't really tell what's going on in there, but we can see inside. Oh, also, I did want to mention that the best spot during a rainstorm is underneath Spaceship Earth. It does such a good job of protecting you from the rain, unless you're standing right there in the middle where all of the rain comes out. Like, it all, like, travels through these channels on the outside of the ball, and it ends up right there at the entrance to Spaceship Earth. All right, we are headed back out to the car now, but we're going to end the video at home just because we got to get into the car and get the AC going and get everything wet inside. All right, we're, it's actually the next day. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> uh, yesterday at Epcot was fantastic. We had a lot of fun. Um, I think the one thing that was really cool, so I've already edited the video, and I think the one thing that was cool watching the video was it was neat to see just how quickly Florida weather changes. Right. So I think this video was a really good, kind of really good at showcasing just how fast the weather can change. So if you are planning a trip to Florida or you aren't from here, that might be something that you might not be ready for. Yeah. I would always have an umbrella. Always. <laughs> yeah, or a raincoat or something. It was also really neat to see how quickly Jackson fell asleep with the rain noise on top of his stroller. Yeah, so we have been having an issue with him not wanting to fall asleep in his stroller. And I just figured it was because it wasn't as comfortable as like his crib or... I, I don't know, I just figured he wasn't as comfortable. But as soon as it started raining, he was out. Yeah. He was asleep. Yeah, yeah. He had a really good nap, too. And it was funny, too, because, like, we're just walking, and then I looked at him, and he's just like... Yeah. We ended up, like, tilting his stroller, his, like, seat back a little bit, so he did have his head back 
the, the like proper you know he wasn't down the whole time mm-hmm. but yeah he was he it's was just asleep. so funny <laughs> like i can't fall asleep like that no babies are i don't know babies are babies babies are babies babies gonna baby it's true <laughs> uh every bit of food that we had this day was fantastic yeah so the cake pop was i mean i feel like of course that's gonna be good because it's literally just chocolate cake dipped in chocolate with candy on top yeah but it's highly highly recommend getting it it's so good the lobster mac and cheese was really good i think i would totally like get that the next time we go one thing that i was kind of sad about so when we first got to the park we immediately went to the hawaii booth yeah um, because we were hungry we got to the park hungry and we're like we're just going to grab a bite to eat and then get our game plan together to figure out where we're going to go next. And we didn't show that because we'd already eaten it in, a, in the past video. But I really had wanted, like, I wish that we were closer to the flavors from Fire Booth. Oh, yeah. Because I wanted that corned beef, like, nacho thing. So good. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about that when we left. It was so good. No, but my spam, I got the spam hash. Yeah. Delicious again. Oh, and my Hawaiian, like, my pulled pork slider was really, like, super good, too. But I just kept thinking about that that nacho dish. Yeah. And I did really like the um, the one from Japan, the the little flower pot with yeah. the. So I we didn't really show you like a good shot of it, but it had a lot of rice, so it was very filling. So I feel like the dishes that I had this day were very filling. Yeah. Yeah. Had had the pasta from the mac and cheese that was very filling. The rice from the uh, little sushi flower pot was filling. And the actual salmon was delicious too, as well as the poke sauce. It was just an all around really good dish from Japan. Yeah. And of course the Brazilian cheese bread, delicious as always. That was so good. I forgot how good that was. Yeah. Delicious. We ordered two and I told Tim, I was like, we shouldn't have ordered two. We could have just split this. I'm glad we got two. Yeah, no, I ate them all. I'm like excited to go back again. I don't know why, but like this food festival, I've only had one trip to the food festival that I like had food that I wasn't 100% excited about. Mm -hmm. But the last two times that we've gone, delicious, delicious, delicious food. The food is so good. I, I really like the idea of being able to just go like take a quick trip and have lunch. You know, like just... Well, with a reservation. Oh, yeah, yeah. You have to make a reservation to the park, of course. But I like being able to just, like, go grab a couple things from a couple of uh, booths and, and just have, like, a, a lunch. Yeah. Or dinner. It's good. It was. It was nice. Although it was a short trip because of the weather, we still had an awesome day. Great food. Great time. I did actually like the rain. Yeah. And I know that sounds weird, but just walking in the rain was pretty nice. Oh, also, something we didn't show you is that... We were able to put all of our wet stuff in the front of the car. Yeah. So the front the front trunk, it was amazing. Yeah. Nothing got wet. Well, the stroller did get wet, but um, it was, I don't know, it was great. Yeah. It was nice to have like a spot to put wet stuff. Yeah. Wonderful. So, all in all, a fantastic day. And with that being said, we are off. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. And now, now it's, it's time, time to, to help. help. So today's organization that we'd like to shine a spotlight on is the First Place for Youth. And each year, more than 25,000 young people age out of the foster care system, and they are then placed with the prospect of independent living outside of the foster care system on their own. First Place for Youth's mission is to help foster kids build the skills they need to make a successful transition to self-sufficiency and responsible adulthood. They advocate for public policies that will improve the lives of as many foster kids as possible. They also provide young people with safe places to live, and they support young people to succeed in school, build job skills, and obtain employment. So it is a really important organization, and we do hope that you will check out the link in the description down below to learn more about what First Place for Youth is doing to help children. And thank you guys for watching this video.